Are you considering getting the all-new 2023 Mazda 3? While the new 2023 Mazda 3 has proven to be very popular, great to drive, as well as amazingly designed inside and out, it definitely has a few flaws that you should be aware of. We'll be warning you of a few issues you must know about, so let's get to it. Lacking a manual option. Mazda vehicles tend to have good driving dynamics, and that's true of the three hatchbacks. Its above-average horsepower as well as acceleration makes quick work of merges and on-ramps. At the same time, proper feedback from the Mazda 3's brake pedal adds a sense of control during its usual driving and confidence during panic stops. And the same goes for the steering and handling, but it's not very thrilling. Even the standard 2.5-liter four-cylinder at its test track impressed with a reasonable 8.2-second sprint to 60 miles per hour. At the same time, the optional turbocharged 2.5-liter engine is a whole new ballgame, whittling the 0 to 60 time down to a more competitive 6.1 seconds. It's also a refined turbo, with minimal lag and an abundance of readily available thrust. But Mazda fans are not impressed by the fact that Mazda does not offer the turbo with a manual option, which is a real shame given that changing gears manually is part of the fun for driving enthusiasts. The turbo of the new Mazda 3 might sound like a performance model on paper, however, it's no Mazda Speed 3 revival. And yes, the turbo is noticeably quicker in a straight line, and it makes a nice growl, however, the engine is lazy. It prioritizes low-end shove over a sportier race to the top of its line, and the six-speed automatic isn't a quick shifter. Moreover, the turbo suspension is said to be only changed to account for the extra weight of the Mazda 3's turbo powertrain. It then ends up riding a little firmer, handling however a little worse than a non-turbo car because of the smallest sensation of front heaviness, which is not experienced in the naturally aspirated version. The Mazda 3 Turbo is still an excellent handling and driving car, just don't expect anything as serious as a VW Golf R or GTI. Disappointing Fuel Economy the new Mazda 3 all-wheel drive may be more fun to drive than the new Subaru Impreza, however, it does lose the fuel economy battle, and there's no point in comparing the three all-wheel drive to any front-wheel drive compacts, as those typically get better fuel economy as a rule, and they're driving only two wheels. Also, its EPA ratings come in at 26 and 33 MPG City Highway against the new 2023 Impreza's 27 and 35. In the Subi's favor is the fact it's lighter, with a smaller engine, and it uses a more efficient CVT automatic. Small cargo space. Both the hatchback and the sedan have small back seats for the 2023 model, and despite the hatchback being shaped for more excellent storage, the cargo area is small and the sedan can actually hold more. They're all space and utility related. Sure, you can toss down the seats in the hatchback for a lot more room, but it's a less than ideal car for a four-person trip with luggage. With some of these drawbacks, car experts still highly recommend the new Mazda 3 to anybody who asks. Even though this design might be five years old at this point, it's still the most appealing compact car you can buy and its interior design remains unmatched at this price point. Sedan or hatchback, rear legroom is the same at 31.5 inches. That could be better for the compact car class. The Hyundai Elantra, for example, has 38 inches, but that may be fine for many potential buyers. The hatchback can take more cargo and has some passenger and luggage versatility. Behind its rear seats is an area of 20.1 cubic feet. The sedan's trunk volume is 13.2 cubic feet, a cube shy of the Elantra's, by the way. With the hatchback's rear seats folded down, the maximum space is 41.7 cubic feet. One potential reason for not choosing the hatchback is its wide rear pillars create blind spots. However, blind spot monitoring is standard in the 2.5S Select trim, one up from the base model average interior. When speaking of practicality, the Mazda 3 has plenty of it, with a roomy, well-crafted interior and easy-to-use features. There's an impressive 38 inches of headroom and around 42.3 inches of legroom in the front seats, along with a more than adequate 37.2 inches in the back. The sedan offers a decent 13.2 cubic feet of trunk space, but families and those with an active lifestyle will want to spend the extra thousand dollars for the hatchback and its 20.1 cubic foot cargo area. Many experts also noticed a rattling noise in the back when they run at over 2000 RPM, which is a big reason why many experts haven't liked the new Mazda 3. Also, the automaker builds some of the finest interiors for a non-luxury brand, and top trim levels of the Mazda 3 give entry-level models from the likes of BMW and Lexus a run for their money. But the all-new 2023 Mazda 3 didn't have the wow factor, which the automaker typically gives its fans. Car experts also noted that there could have been more improvements done inside the cabin. Tech specs not that impressive. 
The excellent sounding 12 speaker Bose premium audio system is also standard in the 3 Carbon, offering more speakers than any Subaru Impreza. The new Mazda 3 also gets an 8.8 inch central display, which is larger than the Impreza's maximum 8 inch screen, although the unit in the Mazda doesn't have a touchscreen like those in most of its rivals. Car experts believe that there could have been more features added. Instead, it's controlled by a knob and buttons on the center console, and this setup is not nearly as simple as the touch panel. Affordable trim no longer available. These days, everything is getting more expensive. Prices for new cars especially have gone through the roof. Inflation and supply chain issues have impacted margins and sale volumes of automakers, so they were forced to pass the increased costs to the customer. In 2021, the average price of a new vehicle was up 6.3%. This has fueled demand for used cars, where the average prices are up to 42.5% in 2022. In this context, it isn't easy to find a car model that maintains its price instead of boosting it. No doubt, automakers have tried to attract buyers with updates and some new technology features, but to be fair, they hardly impress us if we consider the price increase. Is it reliable? While the all-new 2023 Mazda 3 comes with a 3-year or 36,000-mile basic warranty and a 5-year or 60,000-mile powertrain warranty, the 2022 Mazda 3 came with a 3-year or 36,000-mile basic warranty and a 5-year or a 60,000-mile powertrain warranty as well, so that's nothing new in the new model. Also, the 2023 Mazda 3 doesn't have a predicted reliability score as of yet, which is why many car experts have questioned if it will be reliable. Only time will tell. The 2023 Mazda 3 starts at $22,550 plus a destination charge. This most affordable Mazda 3 model is the 2.5S sedan with front-wheel drive. The hatchback equivalent is another $1,000. All-wheel drive is now offered with the Carbon Edition, which comes to $28,600, $1,400 more than its front-drive counterpart. At the top of the range is the 2.5 Turbo Premium Plus with all-wheel drive as standard and a starting price of $34,000 for the sedan. A hatchback version of this model with a few options could add up to $36,000. Although the 2023 Mazda 3 starts out on the expensive side, it comes with a punchy 2.5-liter engine and a relatively luxurious interior. Our thoughts. Style is the Mazda 3's calling card, delivered with high-quality materials that are tightly assembled. The only apparent wart is the high-gloss black trim in the center console, which attracts fingerprints and smudges. This is a problem on many luxury vehicles as well. Sure, compact cars are practical, affordable, and fuel-efficient, but this doesn't mean they should be boring. The new Mazda 3 is the rare small hatchback and sedan that is fun to drive, with an elegant style that goes against cars twice its price. Fuel economy, warranty, as well as ownership perks are about average. The buyer is paying for the style more than anything else, even though the optional turbocharge adds a big dollop of performance and naturally costs even more. And at the top trim level and outfitted with all-wheel drive, the all-new Mazda 3 hatchback costs a bit more than just about everything in the segment, mainly if you go turbo. And this brings luminaries such as the Volkswagen GTI and even the Golf R into play, so it's worth doing cross-shopping to ensure the Mazda wins in your book. The 2023 Mazda 3 does have a few drawbacks, but overall it's a fantastic car that we'd be happy to own, particularly the hatchback turbo model. Click the video on your screen now if you want to know more about what makes this car so popular all around the world.